So today is a very special day because I'm going to replace this guy with this other guy here. I'm going to replace the float sensor with the pressure sensor, same one that I'm using on tank 2. And because I really love the way it's working there, I decided to apply the same principle here and do this, uh, this change. So let's get to it. This arm here, uh, which by the way looks very similar to the one at Tank 2, except for this T here, uh, houses the pneumatic hose, pneumatic pipe with the brass fitting at the end somewhere near here I will connect the pressure sensor and this will be mounted on another arm that is the last feed of the day There he ends. Right here, got this PVC pipe fixed. It will be the arm for the uh, measuring rod that goes all the way down. All I have to do now is disconnect this sensor here, replace this roof tail, and connect. Uh, connect with the pressure sensor and it's alive all I have to do now is put some zip ties here but the water's flowing uh, we got 120 the level reading which is great it will be the new set point here's the old sensor Okay, everything's perfect. At the end of, the, of this uh, video, I'll be adding a short clip about Tank 2 and how the filtration is doing uh, back there. So, thanks for watching. So this is not related with the assembly that I'm doing right now, but since I add the plastic bags, the water is crystal clear. I'm going to show you guys, you can definitely see everything. There is a St. Peter, red vodka. There's just just a little bit of dirt, just a little bit of solids in the IBC floor. Looks good enough. I'm very happy happy with this result.